are you making the most of your email signature? That might seem like a simple, simple little thing. You'd probably think, yeah, of course I am. I'm using it. I'm putting my name on it and I'm putting the company website on it. But are you really making the most of it? Think about how often your email signature is seen. And by signature, I just mean the end of an email. The best regards, kind regards, thanks, talk soon, John, etc. That's going to be seen by suppliers, by customers, by who knows what. So have you organized it? And if you have a company with other people, is it uniform? Or do you let everyone just choose their own? Just potluck, fill your own in. Is it uniform? Now, what can you do? Well, first of all, have your name. And please have the whole name. A lot of people don't know what your last name is. Next, have it feature your website address and preferably a link to your website. People are very, very lazy. If you want them to have a look, just make it clickable. Is it necessary to put your email address in there? Well, not necessarily, unless you are replying, uh, say, say for instance, you have a company, say, ICAS Fire Protection Online, say uh, you might reply from sales at Fire Protection Online, from John, perhaps you want to add that your email address is john at Fire Protection Online. But otherwise, if it's in the subject, then is it necessary? Social media. People like to follow and people like to check people out. You learn a lot about someone from the social media. Get your Twitter handle in there. Facebook, LinkedIn, if you're a business that's using Instagram, Pinterest. I mean, don't flood it with them. Use the ones that you com are commonly active on. A friend of mine actually, actually uh, gets most of their traffic from Pinterest and they actually write, we like Pinterest the most and highlight it. And they get a lot of followers that way because they attract people who like Pinterest. Now next, do you put anything, do you put a PS? Of course, you're not gonna put a PS every single time, but I can guarantee that the PS is probably the most looked at part of your email because people wanna <laughs> just, people scan down to the bottom, see where it's from and think, oh, what's that? What did they forget to say? The PS is where you can mention an offer a landing page. Have PS, have you grabbed our free consumer guide to it's free, just follow this link. A landing page. You might think, well hang on, I've got their email because I'm emailing them. But you want them opted into a mailing list, into a permission. You want them to give permission to mail to you. Uh, so you can mail offers. Now this you may be surprised one of your suppliers may want to become a customer. Have you ever thought to ask? Give them that opportunity, make them decide, let them decide for themselves, get them on your mailing list. Now, uh, today is a Tuesday, so coincidentally, today's Tuesday toolbox tip is for a fabulous little bit of software that I and my businesses use to get around the email signature uniform problem. It's called WiseStamp, wisestamp.com. One word, they have a free level and they have a paid one. Um, we use the paid one. And that means that as a business, it's centrally controlled. You have access to a control panel so that every single signature has the exact same design, the same look. It would have the same uh, Twitter or Facebook handles for the, for the company. Of course, you can alter them for individuals if, if that's the way you're set up. And if you have a message, a marketing message, you can append it to every single email and you can change it. You can add, you can include the latest tweet. They have lots of apps that it integrates with to include the latest this, something from your blog links. You can put your picture on there, you can put your logo. They have layouts galore. It works with Gmail, with Hotmail or Live, whatever that's called now. It works with Outlook. It's all there, go to Ystamp. Dot com. Just try the free one. It's great. I love it. And it's so neat and it will make you look so, so professional. Go on, give it a go. Meanwhile, once you've done that, 
please hop over to iTunes, make sure you are subscribed to Marketing for Owners, and please add a review. Reviews are starting to add, but iTunes needs quite a few before it shows an average. But uh, from what I see, everyone likes us so far. Go add your thoughts.